has been detected in almost every state. The variant makes up 75% of all new confirmed cases. An unvaccinated man from Texas is the first to die from the new variant. Today, President Biden laid out an aggressive plan to try and combat the virus. In January, the government will purchase 500 million at-home rapid test kits for Americans. But are those at-home do-it-yourself tests as effective as what you'd get at a doctor's office? Sarah Hammond has that answer. As families are getting ready to gather for the holidays, many are taking a COVID-19 test to make sure they don't have the virus. Omicron spreads easily, especially among the unvaccinated. It's critically important that we know who's infected. That's why, as part of his winter plan, President Biden announced his administration is purchasing 500 million at-home rapid tests that will be distributed for free to any American who wants one. We're taking even more steps to make it easier to get tested and get tested for free. Typically, those at-home tests cost $20 to $25. However, those antigen tests can be less sensitive than a PCR test you might get at a doctor's office and could be less accurate. So you have to have enough virus, either inside your nose, mucus, or saliva, to produce that protein to get a positive test. And very early in infection, it might not be there yet. But Dr. Elizabeth Broderick says although they aren't quite as accurate, they are better than not getting tested at all. That's another thing we can add to our toolbox. And to ensure you're getting the most accurate result possible, she says follow the instructions on the package very carefully, clean the surface, and set a timer for yourself. It's not very comfortable and all of us have the urge to be quick. If you do test positive with one of these at-home tests, Dr. Broderick says it is so important to call your doctor or the health department to let them know, otherwise that result won't be counted. So that means that state of Virginia knows, are we going up, going down? What mitigation measures do we have to put in place? And the White House says they will soon launch a website where Americans can request those free tests to be delivered to their house. For 13 News Now, I'm Sarah Hammond. All right, if you need a rapid test before the holidays and you can't find one at the pharmacy, try your library. Several are giving them out through a partnership with the health department. We've listed the local systems on your screen right there. The kits are free, but in most cases you have to call and reserve one ahead of time due to high demand.